to my channel. We are getting into another wash and go video today, specifically for one product though. I have a new product and I really, really am excited to try it. So Sephora Squad just recently launched their official Sephora Squad alumni program. I'm officially a part of it. And to celebrate it, they sent me a $150 gift card to buy whatever I wanted from Sephora. So of course, one of the things that I got was something I've been eyeing ever since they launched it, which is this gel from Bread Beauty Supply. I love Bread Beauty Supply. All of their products are really, really great, super like moisturizing and just really, really nice. Um, quality ingredients and also a black owned brand, so we love. So when they launched this gel, I was like, immediately yes. Lately, I have been using mousses a lot, so I am kind of excited to switch it up a little bit today and zell with gel again. This one in particular, it says water sets your curl and the hair gel locks it in, which y'all know is my philosophy for a while now, for almost, is it like over two years at this point, I have been using only gel or mousse for my wash and goes. Like no leave-in conditioners, no creams, nothing. Just like a good whole product after dousing my hair with some water and that's it and it's been amazing. So I love that like I'm on the same page. Like me and this gel are on the same page, okay? So specifically it says it's a moisture locking protective gel gloss for wet set curls. It's non-flaking, non-sticky. The formula works to smooth the surface of the hair while providing curls and coily hair with definition and glassy shine. It literally sounds like everything that you would want in a gel. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I love the packaging. It's like super simple and stuff. So of course, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into all the details. So let's just jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and just meet y'all in the shower. All right, so I figured we kind of just move through the shampoo and conditioner part really quickly since we're really focused on this new gel today. So when I'm trying something new, I really like to make sure that I'm using it along with products that I already know really well and love. So for shampoo, I'm using one of my favorites, the Melon Hair Care African Black Soap Shampoo. I'm applying it directly to my scalp, giving my scalp a good scrub, just giving my hair a really good reset and deep cleanse. Then for deep conditioner, I'm going in with the Authentic Beauty Concept Hydrate Hair Mask. This is one of my favorites of all time. It is bougie, but it is like salon quality, super silky in my curls. I'm also using my brush with the best, Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush, my favorite brush of all time. Yes, we are at that length again, where I am starting to use brushes on wash days. That's how I know that like, my hair is getting too long. But anyways, I left that in for a little bit to kind of soak into the hair before then rinsing it out fully. Okay, time for the fun part. It's time to dig in to this gel. Um, let's get into this consistency first, because that's always like the first thing I like to look at. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, it feels really good. It feels really good. It's got some sticky to her, that's good. That's a good sign for good curl definition. So, it feels like, like you know how you have two different types of gels? You have on one hand the jelly kind of gels, that's like Camille Rose Curl Maker, um, Uncle Funky's Daughter, uh, Curly Magic I think it's called. They're really like sticky and jelly-like. And then you have the other kind of gels that are more like water-based gels that are like gel, like aloe vera gel type consistency. This feels kind of like a hybrid slightly leaning more towards like the water-based side. It is a water-based gel by the way, it does say that on the website. It also smells so good. So good, it's so clean. It has like a very light, refreshing, citrusy kind of scent and it smells so good. It's not like overpowering, it doesn't feel like overly fragranced or anything. So, so far, the consistency and the smell are both like I'm a fan of both. Once it like rubs in, it looks like it feels, like it almost feels a little creamy once you start rubbing it in. Okay. So the hold for this gel is meant to be a medium to strong hold gel. So not like your typical strong max hold, but medium to strong, which is usually right up my alley. I don't like it to be too like stifling to my curls, but also I need some hold so it can last us a few days. So I'm excited. Let's start applying. I'm gonna have the water running while we style. For gel, I like to make sure my hair is like pretty soaking wet. So I'm just gonna kind of wet her a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna like comb the water through. When I tell you water is my leave-in conditioner, it really is. So I like to kind of just rake that through a little bit. And then we go straight in on top of this gel. All right, moment of truth. 
wait, you guys. This kind of feels really good. It is super curl defining. I mean, you can already see these curls are coming into formation like right away. Ooh, let me tell you. Wow, wow, wow. I'm doing about two to three pumps of the gel um, per side. So I did two to three pumps on the left side and now I'm gonna do two to three pumps on this side. It almost gets kind of like foamy a little bit. Like, can you hear that? And kind of see how it's sitting in the curls. I kind of like that. I mean, y'all know I love mousse, so I don't know. All I know is that this is super curl defining right now and I'm here for it. This gel just feels so different from other gels that I've used. It's very unique. And I, I do still feel like it could go one of two ways. Like it looks good now, but if it doesn't dry good, then obviously we'll have problems. So I, I honestly feel like this is actually gonna be either really amazing or it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is where we're at right now. I decided to go for a side part today. My hair just looks so much longer when I do a side part. Isn't that crazy? Um, anyways, so this is where we're at right now. So far, I feel like I'm seeing a little frizz happen here. I'm honestly not sure what to expect exactly yet from this gel because it felt really good as I was applying it, but then after it sat in my hair for a little bit, I was like, I'm not really feeling too much of a hold. It was super curl defining, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous to see how it dries. It could dry and be absolutely amazing. You never know until it's fully dry. Uh, but so far, I will say I'm a little nervous. I will say like right now, it does look pretty good. Like the curls are defined. Um, they do look shiny, but they are still wet. So again, you won't really know what the shine is really giving until it's dry. It does actually already start to feel a little fluffy and it's not even like close to being fully dry yet as usual with a gel. Like with mousse, I can like sit here for 15 minutes diffuse and then we'll be done. But with gel, obviously any gel, it takes longer to dry. I'm gonna run this video as long as it takes to get like some final solid results. If that means we need to go all the way to day four, then we're gonna have day four results by the end of this video. At minimum, I'm gonna check back in with y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna give it all day today, overnight and everything, and then I will pop in tomorrow and we'll discuss day two results. Y'all, it's day two. Ah, and I have good news to report. This is how my hair came out. I will have you note, it is about 4 p.m. the following day. This morning I had a busy morning, I had to get up, had to do a couple things. I did get up and go to the gym. All I did was kind of put my hair back up and took the thing out, came home, showered, been outside on the road, outside in the hot sun, and now I'm finally home, have a breather so we can do this check-in. And this is how we're looking. She is beautiful. So this gel, I have to say, is super, super unique. There's not a gel that I've ever used that is like this gel. Um, I did... <laughs> Like I liked the way that it applied, but then I started getting nervous when it was drying. And also it took forever to dry, which I'm not used to anymore because I've been a mousse girly, mainly because my wash and goes can go from soaking wet hair to fully styled and ready to go in about 30 minutes. I sat for hours yesterday and it took forever to dry, but that's typical with gels. So I'm not just gonna say just this gel. Results wise, I feel like today we have such beautiful curl definition. I will say I have not fluffed my hair out or anything today. I was I was too busy, I was on the go. You girl had things to do today. Um, so I literally just let my hair do its thing. It's been doing its own thing. Um, and this is where we're at and I really actually love it because I do feel like right here we've been able to achieve a beautiful mix of curl definition and volume. Like it's not just like purely defined and stuck to my head. It's got some volume. It's got, you know, a little body. But also we have insane curl definition. So I will say this part, so like look at this compared to this. This is like the frizziest part of my hair right now. And I will say, I think that was on my part. I styled it, left it, and then I decided to keep playing with it and like adding more gel. So one, no for the gel if you are gonna try it. 
Once you put it in, make sure you slick it in really good, get all the frizz out, and then once you leave it alone, leave it alone. Don't touch it again, don't mess around with it again because it can tend to look frizzy like this. But yeah, decent curl definition. Now in terms of a crunch, it did not dry with a super like hard shell crunch at all. Like I don't have a crunch right now. My hair feels very, very soft, but it does have like very solid curl definition, baby. Do you see that? I do wish that we had a little bit more shine. Like some spots are shiny, but it's just overall not as shiny as I can usually get it with the mousse, especially the crazy sexy curl mousse. That wash, the last wash we had, was given, okay? She set like a really high bar. Let me also show y'all the back. We've got curl definition. And right here is my trouble area that usually tends to get frizzy with a styler that my hair doesn't like. It's not as defined, so you can see this is like frizzier than the rest of my hair, but for this section, this is very defined and very good. And I know a lot of you can relate to like that like trouble patch in the middle. I think I wanna keep having a couple more check-ins. I just feel like if you're gonna use a gel and you're gonna wait for your hair on wash day to dry so long, like the benefit needs to be that it's going to last us, no problems. Cause sometimes with mousse, you never know, like it's extra humid outside or whatever. If I'm going straight gel, I'm going to need this to last, to stay in formation. I don't wanna have to refresh at all. So if I make it a day four without feeling the need to actually refresh, or to put it up or anything like that, then we will give this like a solid pass. As All right, well. day three check-in. We're gonna have to make this quick because I need to get out of the house and head out to an appointment. Um, but honestly, you guys, my hair basically looks the same as yesterday. I forgot what it was like to do a wash and go with gel. Honestly, I've been using mousse so often and like with mousse, your hair grows like in size, like in volume every single day, which is fun, it's exciting, I love me some volume. But with gel, like I just feel like, I mean it does grow, it does look slightly kind of bigger than yesterday, but I don't know, the curls are still in formation, they're not like loosening up at all, like she is still put together. I genuinely forgot what it was like to do a wash and go with gel. And as I'm fluffing, I'm not seeing like any extra frizzy areas. There's literally nowhere that I want to refresh at all. There's no frizzy spots. Um, yeah, I just think this looks so, so good still. I am about to put it to the test though. So it was just raining, it stopped, but you know, that humidity after it rains outside, especially when it's hot outside, and I'm gonna be outside. So I am definitely about to put this to the test and then tomorrow we'll do our final check-in with final results and final thoughts on whether or not this gel is actually worth it. So far it is looking real good. It's looking like it, but we'll fully decide on day four after being outside in the humidity today. All right y'all, day four check-in. Let's get into these final results and final thoughts about this gel. So. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, it was rainy. I was outside in the humidity for a minute. I did also get a little rained on running like to and from my car. And this is how we're looking. I also did go to the gym yesterday. So you can see like I'm starting to get a little frizz or whatever, but it's honestly not anything too crazy. Um, I have just been tucking this behind my ear. That's what I was doing all day yesterday. But yeah, just a little teensers of frizz, but the curl definition is still strong. Like truly, I feel like it still looks good. It still looks good and it feels good too. It still feels really, really nice and just moisturized and stuff. It just looks good, feels good. So I think, I think this gel was a massive success. Yeah, see, the more like we fluff this out, she's cute, she's cute. I will say we are lacking a little bit of shine. I wish I still had a little bit more shine for a gel, you know? It's not bad, but yeah, I wish we had just a little more, you know what I mean? So overall, final thoughts, if we had to give this a rating out of 10, I think I would go ahead and give this gel a solid nine out of 10. I feel like it works really well on my curls. I feel like it left my curls really nice and moisturized. 
super defined. We are here on day four, still going strong, and I have not been taking it easy on my hair by any means. So that's really good. It is a water-based gel. I personally love a good water-based gel. I think the packaging is super cute, and also I noticed that a little bit does go a long way. Like I know when you first look at this bottle, it seems pretty small compared to like typical gels like come in like a nice big jar, like a big tube. Um, so this seems small, but I really can say that a little bit goes a pretty long way. And so yeah, solid 9 out of 10 for this gel. I am not going to be returning it because I did get it from Sephora. You know how you can like try things. If you don't like them, you can return them. I'm keeping this. I want to play around with it a little bit more. Like I would love to kind of try it out more for like special styles and stuff and maybe even also for refreshing. So yeah, solid 9 out of 10. I guess I would say it missed a point for me in that I just wish there was a little bit more shine just a little bit but honestly it's still a great gel and i do actually highly recommend for y'all to go ahead and try it out for the results to be showing out like this on day four like absolutely this is going to continue to take us throughout the rest of this week i definitely think this is a great gel for someone who is booked and busy doesn't want to think about their hair after they do their wash and go like it, it's got you covered my hair looks good feels good solid nine out of ten gel we love yeah that's basically gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching i really have so much fun just testing out new products testing different things different product combos all of that stuff y'all know that's my thing comment below and let me know if there are any other products that you think i should keep my eye on to maybe try next in a couple videos i had so much fun creating this video for y'all and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did leave me in the comments for now and then i will catch y'all right back here same time same place for another video thanks for watching bye